So it's quite easy to get confused, right? When you're choosing between HostGator and GoDaddy when you're looking for a web host provider. After all, these are the two giants in the web hosting industry that many have come to trust. However, knowing the strengths and weaknesses of each web host can make it a lot easier to choose the best fit for your website. So in this video, that's exactly what I'm going to be going over, the strengths and weaknesses of HostGator versus GoDaddy. I'm going to be doing a quick comparison that shows that actually HostGator and GoDaddy are not too different after all. They do in fact share a few similarities, but some are better than others in different aspects. So I will be going over everything you need to know to help you decide which web host provider is right for you. So before we do get into the actual comparison of HostGator and GoDaddy, I would like to say that both of these hosting providers do offer an uptime guarantee of 99.9% .9 and they do also both offer a 45 day money back guarantee for your first contract. Also, they both have 24 seven live chat, phone and email customer support. They also provide tutorials and knowledge base articles where you'll find solutions to problems and answers to questions you may have. So the main difference between these two web hosts, which may influence your final decision, is the type of security offered, which I'll go into a little bit more later on. So GoDaddy performs backup and malware scans daily, while HostGator only does this on a weekly basis. So if that's an important factor to you, uh, then yeah, bear that in mind. An even closer look at the other differences and similarities between HostGator and GoDaddy are going to be coming right up in this video. So let's take a look at one of the most overlooked and honestly one of the most important parts of web hosting and that is the security measures and backup protocols that are in place. So with HostGator, as I mentioned earlier, they only do backups and malware scans weekly. So this is obviously not as good as doing them daily. So you should be doing both tasks every day yourself. Um, with GoDaddy, however, daily backups and malware scans are carried out and your entire website and its files are backed up and stored in the cloud. You do pay a tiny monthly fee for this protection, but it is well worth it to avoid facing a crisis where you may lose a folder or everything related to your website. So as far as security and uh, backup protocols go, I would give HostGator a three out of five on this part and GoDaddy a four out of five. So next up, what happens if you want to upgrade to a better plan mid contract? So if you are starting a small business, you may not think you need much from your host. But what happens if you start to get more traffic? You might be ready to move from shared to VPS hosting. But first, what is the difference between the two plans? So shared hosting is a type of web hosting service where the service provider uses just one server to house multiple websites, each with their own domain name. Drawbacks of shared hosting are it's got additional security risks and it's the risk of your site being slowed down if another site on your server has a major traffic spike. For smaller sites, shared hosting offers the most affordable hosting option. But then on the other hand, we have VPS hosting. This is a virtual private server. It shares the same physical hardware as other sites, but allows the site owner more access and more security options than shared hosting. So when it comes to this, I would give HostGator a five out of five. You can choose a yearly or monthly contract for your website hosting. So this gives you flexibility because you may wish to upgrade if your site really starts to take off. So upgrades will only incur a fee that amounts to the difference between your existing plan and the new one. So that's why I give HostGator a five out of five when it comes to this. GoDaddy also gets a five out of five. If you want to upgrade your site because you do have greater needs than when you started, the only cost you'll incur once again is the difference between your current plan and the one you wish to upgrade to. And there won't be any dime downtime while this is done. So if you're very tech savvy, you can even do the upgrade by yourself on your own. But yeah, this is a draw. They both get five out of five here. 
So for any beginners out there, you might be wondering how long is the free trial and the money back guarantee? Well, HostGator actually offer a 45 day money back guarantee that comes with every brand new site or a site transferred from another host. This guarantee only covers your contract. It doesn't apply to domain names, customized installations, admin fees and other costs. And unless you pay with a credit card when setting up your account, you won't receive a cash rebate. Instead, it will be applied to your site account. And this guarantee only applies to new accounts. So I would give HostGator a four out of five when it comes to their free trial and money back guarantee. GoDaddy, on the other hand, I would give them a three out of five. You get a 40 day money back guarantee if your contract is one year. If it's only for a month, however, you'll only get a 48 hour money back guarantee. So read the terms and conditions as only a portion of the money will be refunded. And generally, it's just the hosting part, not the domain name or other add ons. And it's the same with most web hosts. So yeah, HostGator four out of five, GoDaddy three out of five. So it's a win for HostGator when it comes to the money back guarantee and the free trial, but not a huge difference. So when you need help with your website, it's best to make sure that it's at hand and ready whenever you need it. So both compared hosts are luckily in the bracket of excellent support by providing cross-platform support in multiple ways. So for this, HostGator gets a five out of five. All hosting companies do vary in terms of the support systems they offer, but HostGator is honestly one of the better options because the support includes live chat, phone calls, emails, more than 700 informative articles, over 500 how-to tutorials, a huge knowledge base, and numerous forums. Some are free for anyone to join and the rest are only accessible by members. But considering all of this, I would definitely give HostGator a five out of five. It's 24 seven and they are very, very helpful. GoDaddy, on the other hand, I would give a four out of five. So it's another win for HostGator in this round. So GoDaddy does provide 24 seven, 365 day support to customers via live chat, phone, emailing, and ticketing. And they also have a massive knowledge base where you can find many of the answers you seek. Customers also have access to a lengthy list of tutorials from the expert services menu. Now this is separate from all other support services and helps you learn how to do various tasks that may be basic, but if you're not very technically minded, they will save you time and effort trying to contact a support staff member. But GoDaddy's site is a little hard to navigate and this can be a negative depending on your needs. And that's the only reason why I'm giving them four out of five instead of the five out of five that HostGator got. But yeah, they come in very, very close once again, but HostGator does take this round just by a little bit. So let's talk about any extra features. What else do these hosting companies offer out of the ordinary. So the list of expectations must sometimes be exceeded. And this is exactly the case with web hosting companies. They exceed my expectations with a handful of bonus goodies, both of them actually. So with HostGator, you do get a free domain name for the first term of every site you create. You have access to a website builder for a fee. And if you wish to migrate your site from another host, it is also free to do so. And you can use some free advertising in Yahoo, Bing, and Google AdWords because you will receive $200 in free credits. GoDaddy, on the other hand, you get a free website builder to help create your new site. Your domain name will be also be free for the first term as long as your hosting package is a year or more. And with GoDaddy, you get a $100 of Google AdWords advertising credits, and you can migrate your site from a different host to GoDaddy, and you won't incur any fees for doing so. So again, this round, I'm going to say it goes to HostGator. I'm going to give them a five 
out of five just because they do have a little extra credits and you can use them across Yahoo, Bing, or Google. Whereas with GoDaddy, I'm gonna give those a four out of five just because uh, they have pretty much the same features, all the same free things, except you do get $100 less in your advertising credit. So I will have to give this round to HostGator once again and give them a five out of five for this. So if you're still not sure which web host is right for you, I know it can be difficult to decide, so here are a few more areas you might consider. So the first one is gonna be the control panel. Now, the control panel is where you access many of your host's features, including files, apps, emails, domains, etc. Now, GoDaddy users will have access to cPanel, a very, very popular control panel that is super easy to navigate and one of the most favored cPanels. There is also plenty of documentation online if you need help completing a specific task. Now, if you use HostGator, on the other hand, the control panel will depend upon the plan. Lower level hosting plans will use cPanel, but resellers and another specialty plans use Web Host Manager, while VPS and Windows hosting plans use Plesk. So I'm not gonna give these a star rating because this entirely depends on your personal preference, which control panel you like to use. So yeah, decide which one you like, and yeah, that could help you decide which, which web host you would like to go with. All right, so I know for a lot of people, the price is all that really matters. It shouldn't be, honestly, but if you're a beginner, I know that's a big factor for you. So you can see on your screen right here, the different prices comparing GoDaddy hosting with HostGators hosting. Now they do have prices ranging from just $3 a month around there, all the way up to into the hundreds of dollars a month if you're looking for dedicated hosting. Now, I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you're probably not interested in that dedicated hosting. So we're just gonna be taking a look at the shared hosting plans right here. And as you can see, there is barely any difference. The difference is like a one coffee a month. You know what I mean? It starts at $2.99 a month with GoDaddy and HostGator starts at $2.75 a month. Uh, overall though, I would say that HostGator has slightly better value for money than GoDaddy. Firstly, HostGator has generally cheaper price plans overall than GoDaddy. And secondly, it offers a cloud hosting plan, which GoDaddy does not. So you can see you get more for your money with HostGator. But this is just a small factor because as you can see, the prices, they barely differ. There's not a huge difference. It's just a couple of dollars every single month. And last but not least for WordPress users, if you are wondering which host is better if you are using WordPress, Overall, I would honestly say GoDaddy does seem to offer more features, but the best WordPress host will depend upon your specific needs. So on the screen now, I am putting a few features each host offers specifically targeted to WordPress users. So HostGator WordPress hosting features include WordPress specific hosting plans, free migration of WordPress sites, easy install using quick install in Mojo Marketplace, fast load times, automatic site backup, one click scalability if your traffic suddenly spikes. And then GoDaddy WordPress hosting features are pre-built sites and drag and drop editor, daily backups, free one click restore of your site, automatic WordPress security updates, one click migration tool, free Microsoft Office 365 email with the annual plan, and a free domain. Now I would say though GoDaddy can take up to 24 hours to uh, install WordPress, so it's not very quick. Whereas HostGator, you can have WordPress installed within just a few minutes. So again, depending on your specific needs, depends which one you will choose uh, depending on these, these uh, features right here. So which is the best web hosting? Is it HostGator or is it GoDaddy? Now this all comes down to what your needs are, the needs of your website and your personal preferences. 
But in my personal opinion, HostGator is the better host. They do have a lot better value for money. They have cheaper prices and overall better performance as well. So why HostGator is my winner? Well, reason one, they have the fastest load time and response time out of the two. They have almost 100% uptime guaranteed. Uh, number three, top-notch support team is 24-7 and there's a lot of help available on the website, whether you want to call them, speak to them via their chat, they've got a lot of options for you. They also have very, very flexible and affordable hosting plans and they are one of the most highly secure web hosting platforms available. So that is it for this HostGator versus GoDaddy comparison. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you did, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. I'm assuming if you made it to this point in the video, you did enjoy the video. So yeah, that thumbs up is really, really going to help me out and I really, really appreciate it. So thank you for watching this far and liking the video. Also subscribe if you haven't already. I post videos just like this very, very frequently showing you and comparing different web posts, helping you with all of your website needs to help you get your websites up and running. But yeah, that is it for this video. Please don't forget to check the description for any links. They will be affiliate links, referral links. So if you sign up to one of these web posts using those links, I will earn a small affiliate commission at no extra cost to you. If anything, those links will give you the best discount as I am affiliated with both, Ho both HostGator and GoDaddy. So yeah, those links just should or might give you a slight discount. But thank you for watching this video, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.